Hello and welcome. Today we're back with the Parkside lawnmower, or, or as I like to call it, a little engine that couldn't. What we're going to do to improve the runtime of this thing is install this 8 amp Parkside battery instead of the 2 amp. So I'm going to show you how to do that and we're going to try it out today. The news is working at this thing isn't that complicated. You just press that button, that's the emergency stop, and she'll not activate. It's not that unsafe to work with, I'm going to just turn it upside down. But there is metal blades there, and when they spin, if you are not that will be close to them, it is a danger to you. It's not a big danger, it's not a what you call it real dangerous thing to be doing, but we'll just be in the safe side. So, getting this open is quite simple. There's four little screws, that's the battery box there. These come with a battery installed, so some of you, maybe if you haven't paid a lot of attention, you might not know where the battery box is. So I'm going to show you how to open it. Four little screws. I'll lift that straight off. Here's the one we're going to put in. We'll set it on top of that because it's not going to work with a emergency stop deployed. Remove this 2 amp. That's irrelevant now, and on this 8 amp. This 8 amp will be superior because it's four times the capacity, and not only that, it has 4,000 milliamp cells, 10 of them, whereas the 2 amp hour only has 5, 2000 milliamp cells and the, the cells in the, four, in the 8 amps 21700 which are a physically larger cell I don't know if the bigger battery will supply more power to the motor and the reason I don't know I do know that the bigger battery supply more power out the top that's a fact of life however sometimes the internal systems of these little motors well all the time they regulate the power going to them and they only take what they need. Um, if this is actually under power in her, it could actually improve the big app battery might actually improve the power, but it will improve the runtime. At least I'm expecting at least four hours out of this between charges. So that should help. To explain that was running at an hour, then had to charge an hour, then run at another hour, then had to charge an hour, so Three and a half hours in, you got you only really get two hours cutting, so it doesn't doesn't make sense, and it doesn't achieve a whole lot in the day, to be honest, because of that reason. So if it's going to cut four hours flat out, I could potentially I know it's going to take a long time to charge it, but if I do the schedule right, I might be able to get eight eight hours cutting a day out of this thing. I switched her on again. She's charging. Ninety-four percent. We might have to set the schedule because I had the. Uh, I have to set the schedule again. I did the battery out. So ninety-four. And can we go from one to? You know, we're gonna have to change that because that's not gonna work. Thirty-nine o'clock at night. I'm gonna put in the long shaft. And. We'll have to wait till that charges us at 94% and then it should start then. Yeah, I think we're good. I should be charging there now. And she's off. So we'll see how she does. The grass is a bit wet today, so it will be a harder challenge for her. As uh, she did struggle in the bumpy places yesterday. So we'll give her some time. It's cutting well for 20 minutes, now it's stuck. Had to do a lot of that yesterday, but I might have to perform a modification to the mower. This is not sustainable. I'm going to remove this trim around the side to see if it helps. I see there's screws in here, and I can screw this off to see if it helps with the clearance of the thing. Because the clearance is not working. This could still be catching, but we'll get this all these screws out around the side and see if this helps it in any way. There we are, it's a trim off now, so we'll put her back in our wheels, see if that helps or anything. The trim wasn't really doing a wild lot for us, 
especially not in this lawn, the soil pumpy lawn I have. So hopefully she does better with that. Time will tell. I should know within the hour. Well, two hours in, more trapped. Look at that. And if we left her, let's see she dug her salt a wee hole. There's a wee slot there. But no, I don't think she's suitable for my lawn, to be honest. I don't know what more I can do with her because unless I, you know do I chop these off with a grinder or do I chop these off with a grinder what do you do anyway there we go we'll start her off again see if she um see if she uh can put on the pun here Stand by, and then I close the lid and she'll start cutting again. There's not much more I can do with her unless I actually get the grinder to her. But that's that's maybe a job for tomorrow. I think the battery is a good job, the bigger battery, but I think there's still problems with this Parkside lawnmower robot mower. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos. I will have to do something with it tomorrow. I'll have to do a further adaptation to see if that works. So, tune in for that.